What is up guys? I am Kubrick and this is the third episode of my Middle Eastern building series in which we are making a medieval mosque. A lot of progress was made this time mainly focusing on the mosque building itself. We can say that the most of the mock is already completed so there will be a lot of details to go through. I decided to make a half of a building to plan everything out so with that you will be able to see most of the concept I came up with. But as I predicted there had to be another bricklink order made because as I was building I found some pieces that I was already running out of but also I came up with some new ideas that I will happily talk about in today's video. But before we start out, just a quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with all the new mocks, building series and other great content that I so gladly create for you guys. Now with all that said, let's start with the parts I had to order, which will be crucial for the final part of the build. So, what do we have this time? Let's begin with the 10 elements that I ran out of, like some corner and modified bricks, a few arches I will need for the upper part of the main building, a few tiles and these big cylinder pieces for the minarets. Next are some white parts, like these corner tiles and wedge plays also for the minarets, some clips, window frames I should be able to find use for in the final part of the building, and some other small elements for detailing the mock here and there. And speaking of detailing, I got a bunch of pearl gold elements that I will place all around the mock that will truly show that this is the rich people's district. And last but not least, I got a few dark turquoise tiles for the mosaic and some sand green curved slopes I have a plan for but haven't tested the technique yet so I'm not sure if I will use them at all. Oh and there is also this dude to join the other characters. Okay, now that we have that quick update on the parts being used behind us, let's jump into what's really important today that is the progress on the main building. As you can see I focused only on the left side because there was a lot of trial and error when I was designing the layout and the details. But I finally made something I can be really happy with, so now the next step will be to mirror the whole design on the right side and add some finishing touches. In the last episode you saw the main facade, the doorway and the side aisles and not much have changed in these parts. The aisles got a bit taller as I've added a row of these modified bricks placed sideways and a thin line of medium nougat tiles to add some variety so that there isn't too much tan all around. And then I added a little decorative element in the front and finished it up with some tiles. As for the centerpiece, I've just added a pair of sand green doors with some gold handles. I think that they came out nicely, especially that the handles are made with a piece that isn't actually a piece itself, but a connector to the Ninjago Shuriken stars. Just a little NPU I gladly could incorporate. But the best thing is that the doors are working so we can have a little peek inside. I figured that not only this mock will be displayed as part of the collaboration, but also it has to stand on its own for you guys. So, I decided to make at least a part of an interior. I will show you how it looks on the inside in the later part of the video, but first let's finish talking about the building from the outside. If you look at the sides of the mosque, it's not actually the first idea I had. At first I made the side walls the same height as the middle part, but then I realized it's not the correct way a mosque should be looking like. When looking at many pictures of mosques online, I saw that the middle part with the dome should be standing out from the sides. So I scrapped that idea and made something completely different. The sides are now much lower and decorated with a small tower. And I really like how it came out. I knew I wanted to use those little dome pieces and add some colors to it to match the rest of the build and this was just a perfect idea. Not only the roof looks a lot more Arabic like, 
but also I could match the color scheme with the one I started on the courtyard and on the sides. I'm also happy I could use these big white pieces that I've borrowed from my daughter's princesses set. They are just a perfect piece for the Middle Eastern theme. Next I just surrounded the little balcony with these small arch jumpers and tiled the floor with a little decorative touch using medium nougat dots. From the side I also wanted to make some kind of a decorative element, so I used the technique that you will see a lot of in this collab, using the negative studs of 1x1 one one plates, which makes a great chessboard pattern. And now that the left side is completed, the only thing left is to mirror the whole thing on the other side, but that should go fast since I don't have to think about the techniques too much and just put the bricks together. Oh, and you might have noticed that one of the minarets is already completed. On this I spent way too much hours just thinking about how to make it look good while being tall enough to be standing out from the city. It's now about 40 cm high and I hope it will be enough. The whole thing is made mostly with 10 cylinders, round plates and some cut corner plates and wedges to add a bit of variety to the texture. But the best thing here is the top. The gold window shutters, placed around an octagonal bar frame surrounded by white wheel pieces and finished with a drill from the top, is probably my favorite part of the whole build. And believe it or not, but the whole minaret is sturdier than it seems, because I've enforced it from the inside with a bunch of pins and bars, so it wouldn't fall apart during transport. And the last thing I did on the outside was styling the ground on one of the base plates. The pattern is going to be similar across the whole collab, so nothing special here, just a mix of tan, dark tan and medium nougat plates and tiles, which gives that walked on sand effect. Ok guys, and since we have all of the outside covered, now as promised let's take a look on the inside. This is a part that is made strictly for you, since it won't be visible on the exhibition, but I figured why not. I want to leave the door open a bit, so at least a glimpse of the details is visible from the outside. The interior I made using a mix of nougat and tan pieces with some columns and arches on the sides, a few details on the walls and a stained glass window on each side. The only thing left here is to make a mosaic on the floor. Oh right, and I forgot about mentioning one little detail. There will be lights in this mock as well. Not much since I only had two LED panels left, but it should give a nice glow from the inside both to the hallway as well as the outside of the building through the windows. So guys, what do you think about this episode's progress? Looking good, huh? Now all is left is to duplicate what I made on the left side, make the dome roof in the middle and make a worthy mosaic on the courtyard with a nice fountain in the middle. And of course I need to add some small decorative elements all around the mock, add a few plants and we're good to go. As for the finale, it should be out the day before the whole collab will premiere on the Hobby Fair exhibition in Poznan, that is on the first weekend of December. Of course, if you have that opportunity, make sure to be there to see the full collab. The entire build will be made by 17 people, so there will be plenty to see. And if you won't be able to make it, don't worry, I am planning to make a cinematic video featuring the whole collaborative build, so make sure you smack that bell button so you won't miss out on this epic build. And that's enough from me today guys. As usual, any support is greatly appreciated, so like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can, and I will see you all in the finale. And until then, stay safe and keep it bricking.